Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this problem. So find the derivative, then we have this given y equals 6 sine 3x times cosine 3x. So observe that on this given, there is an identity, the double angle identity, that 2 sine a cosine a equals sine 2a. So on this given, this is a. Then since on this identity, we have this 2, so we need to rewrite this 6 with 2. So we have now y equals, since 6 is equal to 3 times 2, then bring down sine 3x cosine 3x. Then observe this equation, which is equal to this equation, and that's equal to sine 2a. But on this given, a is equal to 3x. So therefore, y equals 3 times sine 2a. So we have sine 2a and a is 3x. So y now is equal to 3 sine 6x. So we can find now the derivative using this equation. So we have y prime equals, so bring down this 3. Then for the derivative of sine, that's cosine. Then for the derivative of 6x, that's 6. So y prime equals this 3 times 6, that's 18, cosine 6x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so y equals sine 4x times second 4x. Since I using this figure, that this one is sine, then cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecond. So, if we're going to multiply these two functions, the result is the middle function. So, for sine times second, so the middle function is tangent. So, therefore, this given is equal to tangent for x. Then, to find the derivative, so using this equation, so we have y prime equals, so for the derivative of tangent, this one is second squared, then times the derivative of 4x, that's 4. So therefore, y prime is equal to 4, second squared, 4x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so again, since we have an identity for sine over tangent, so from this figure, so this one is sine, then cosine, tangent, cotangent, this one is second, and cosecond. So if we're going to ratio the two consecutive functions, the result is the previous function. So for sine over tangent, that's equal to cosine. So therefore, y is equal to cosine 2x. Then to find the derivative using this equation, so we have y prime equals the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine, then times the derivative of 2x, that's 2. So therefore, y prime is equal to negative 2 sine 2x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so using the double angle identity, that cosine squared a minus sine squared a equals cosine to a. So for this given, a is equal to 5x. So from this identity, so we have now y equals cosine 2 a and a is equal to 5x 
then y equals cosine 10x. Then to find now the derivative from this equation, so y prime equals, so for the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine, then times the derivative of 10x, that's 10. So therefore, y prime is equal to negative 10 sine 10x. So this is now the derivative.